the tropics aren't calming down just yet. In this video, we have quite a bit to discuss. So we've got Invest94L to talk about. The National Hurricane Center now saying the Lesser Antilles should keep watch as there could be flooding rains and even some gusty winds starting by Friday. We'll also be talking about what is happening across the Caribbean on the whole. There's a stationary front which is helping to enhance activity across some areas. And then we want to look at the latest from the Climate Prediction Center, their Global Tropics Hazards Outlook Map. So in this morning's update, if you actually saw it, I mentioned that we would be looking at that because there should be that update this evening, which is here now. So we'll be taking a look at that. Very interesting as we're going to be heading through to the rest of October. So let's kick start things looking at the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so let's zoom into the basin and there we can see that there is some thunderstorm uh, activity popping up across some areas. Sections of Cuba near the Cayman Islands going to Central America, especially near the coast of uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, down to Costa Rica, Panama, and even across Northern South America as well. And even Trinidad, there's been some activity. For the rest of the Lesser Antilles, maybe a passing shower or so, there hasn't been anything too crazy moving through. Through that little blob of convection right there associated with whatever is left of Sean. So Sean, which has dissipated, the remnants of it still drift into the west. Some thunderstorms across some spots in Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and even in some sections in Jamaica and the Turks and Caicos Islands. So that front is right within that region. Behind that boundary is a mass of cool, dry air for uh, sections of the Yucatan going to Cuba, even up to Florida and parts of the Bahamas as well. There are some below average temperatures induced by that front. Front. And that is going to be a lot more frequent as we head into the rest of autumn and going into winter as well. Now, the main focus of this video, Invest 94L. So here we are taking a closer look at the disturbance and we can see that it is producing quite a bit of activity. Pretty disorganized right now. Matter of fact, it is not looking as good as it did this morning. It is not sustaining those thunderstorms. So likely as a result of some dry air infiltration as well as some shear. So some wind shear is likely impacting the system, especially the eastern side of it, which explains the reason it has not been consolidated much. So it hasn't looked better. Matter of fact, it's looking a little bit worse compared to this morning, but it still has that window of opportunity to try to become a tropical depression, potentially a tropical storm before making its way to the Caribbean. However, what the Euro and even the Icon model has been showing is coming to fruition with a weaker system headed into the Caribbean. So that is why the National Hurricane Center is saying that uh, persons in the Lesser Antilles, they should be keeping watch interests. There should be keeping watch there could be heavy rains which cause flooding and there could even be those gusty winds so those are tropical storm like conditions that could be anticipated as we're going to be heading into this weekend guys so all the way up from Anguilla going to St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, Seba, St. Eustatia, Santica, Barbuda uh, going down to Montserrat, St. Kitsanevis, Guadalupe Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados. These areas should be keeping watch. And even further south into St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, and even for Trinidad and Tobago, there could be some rainfall activity induced uh, either by the system or that moisture feeding into the system as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this week. So be on watch. Even the Virgin Islands, maybe even Puerto Rico as well, could experience some rainfall increase if the system should trend uh, continually to the west before making that curve or trying to make that curve out into the open waters of the Atlantic. And so, uh, again, guys, that formation chance is still high. We could still see a tropical depression, maybe tropical storm Tammy becoming of 94L, but it doesn't matter at this point. Regardless, there are likely to be impacts. I would say that the chance is getting pretty high for the system to move into the Caribbean. Speaking of, let's head on to some model data. Let's head on to that uh, intensity guidance first. And here we can see that some of these models want to show the system becoming a tropical storm for sure and then eventually a hurricane now i don't expect a hurricane in the short term because of how the system has been evolving for a while now it still has a window of opportunity as i said to maybe become a tropical depression or tropical storm but as for a hurricane i'm not so confident on that at this point in time at least for the short term it may try to do so if it makes its way back out and into a conducive environment but with that front coming down and that increase in wind shear i'm not expecting that we will see anything too crazy 
easy become of the system. However, that can change as we head into next week. We'll have to wait and see. But as of right now, a disorganized area here and uh, going on to the model track guidance, we can see that these models, uh, more models are available, by the way, and they're now taking the system further into the Caribbean. So they have been shifting all over the place for the past couple of days. And there's that westward trend yet again. However, the euro and icon have been very, very consistent about what uh, they are expecting of the system. It's moving in, bringing some impacts to the Lesser Antilles and even up to the Virgin Islands, potentially Puerto Rico as well. Not as anything very major. And I know that you guys have been longing for that rainfall increase. I have been seeing the comments about how hot it has been for you. So hopefully this actually helps out with that. But we don't want anything too major. But the system will have that uh, probability of triggering those conditions. Maybe your med services in your different islands will issue some watches or warnings as we head into this weekend while the system approaches. It still has that chance to make its way out and not bring any significant impacts, but that is seemingly getting more and more unlikely. And so guys, uh, that is what is to expect of the system as of right now. That is the latest on it. And so you want to go ahead and now move on to the updated map from the climate prediction center so here we have it and let us go ahead and decipher what it is saying to us now this is as we're going to be heading out into the final week of october the 25th to the 31st of the month now we're focusing on the atlantic but over in the eastern pacific quite a bit of activity over there as well so uh, we're looking over here and we can see that the entire caribbean is in that red and white stripe shading right there so that is indicating the possibility of tropical cyclone development but notice this that uh, we're seeing these shades of browns out coming from the coast of africa headed toward uh headed across rather the eastern going to the central main development region which indicates the chance of below average rainfall so eventually we're gonna see these tropical waves slowing down and come to a halt as the hurricane season closes as conditions get a bit more stable out there but we could still see quite a bit of activity in the caribbean matter of fact some models have been hinting towards seeing more activity as we head to the latter part of October and into early November, which is what the Climate Prediction Center is now showing on this Outlook map. Even going to November uh, the 1st through to the 7th, we're still seeing that red shading, that red and white stripes shading across the Caribbean. So there could be some development here, maybe another storm or two forming in the region before the hurricane season comes to that inevitable end, guys. But this is looking interesting for sure. I really think that we're going to be seeing something try to form in the Caribbean before even before the month of October ends excluding 94L that is so we're seeing it here that signs are pointing towards an active end to October maybe an active start to November so that is definitely something to watch out for but as usual I'll be keeping you guys posted with all the updates everything that you should know about the tropics and that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this video and just to recap again there's that front in the Caribbean that's helping to enhance the rainfall and by the way down in parts of Central America through, uh, through the next couple of days there could be some periods of heavy rain which trigger flooding due to all that activity expected so please be aware of that please don't take any unnecessary risks should you act uh, should you actually encounter some flooding in your area and so again that is it for now and I hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.